Hey there, what is up, and welcome to my channel. And this is a mini ranking on all the Marvel movies released in 2021, and this is going to include the Sony Marvel movies also. So, in at number five, we have the Eternals. Now, the worst part of this movie are the villains. Like they are just generic CGI monsters, and and there is a team member who ends up backstabbing them, and that was supposed to be a twist, but I predicted it pretty early on. Moving on, in at number four, we have. Black Widow and the movie seems like just a medium to move from one action set piece to another action set piece. This was an okay movie at best. The movie at times feels like it is the movie of Elena Belova played by Florence Pugh and Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow is just a side character. That's like ScarJo is a side character in her own movie. In a number 3 we have Shang-Chi The Legends of Ten Rings. Like all other MCU movies, this movie also ends where a world-ending threat emerges out of the blue and is taken off by our main hero. The movie at times feels like a collection of great ideas mashed together in a mediocre way. The movie has the movie is like a mixture of MCU and martial arts making is an MCU fiction of a martial arts movie and that is not bad. So in a number two we have Venom Let There Be Carnage and this movie I was having a hard time putting it in number two because this movie to be honest is not that good but the thing is this movie is pretty enjoyable and throughout the movie I was enjoying this movie throughout this movie does something that they did in the first movie because they thought it worked once it would work again and it does work but overall if I say the first movie was better than this due to the PG rating I would say this movie is just completely ruined because carnage you know is supposed to be insane but nah and as you have guessed it in a number one we have spider-man no way home this movie has something too good to be true but they are true so i don't want to spoil anything but at this point i don't think it's a spoiler anymore andrew and tony did show up and that was just freaking awesome seeing andrew and tony and Tom together as Spider-Man was like a dream come true for any Spider-Man fan. To be honest, for any comic book fan, you can even think that if Christian Bale Batman, Michael Keaton Batman, and Ben Affleck Batman comes together in the same frame, and that would be pretty amazing. And Spider-Man did it first. This is probably one of the best Spider-Man movies I've ever seen. There are some minor problems where you know MCU humor, which comes after some heavy stuff, and loosens effect while in the midpoint of the movie some character dies emotional moment but soon followed by a funny moment and this happens quite a few times so without that i can say this movie is probably my second favorite spider-man movie if you like this video then you may also like the other ranking video i did recently and that will be in the cards in the description in the pinned comments or anywhere like you would find it